Hi everyone, it's Angel with Pure Earth Angel. On my last video, I was talking about gratitude and things that I was thankful for. And it was pretty ironic because I got a letter in the mail, um, a thank you letter from the LA Conservancy. Um, I found out about the LA Conservancy um, last year. They were doing a series called The Last Remaining Seats. And what they do is they show um, like old Hollywood movies and classics in some of the historic theaters around LA um, and they had Singing in the Rain was playing and somebody tagged me in it on Facebook or actually a couple people tagged me in on it on Facebook um, and I was like that's amazing I absolutely let's do it let's go um, we had only seen Singing in the Rain once no I think maybe twice on the big screen we're fortunate enough to find these things um, but this was our first time in a historic theater to be able to see it. Um, so I definitely wanted to take Eli. I put it on the top of my priority list. Um, I had heard about it before tickets went on sale and I knew it was only a one-time showing. Um, so I wasn't sure how, if they were going to sell out or anything. And I saw that you can, um, join as a member and be able to get the tickets on a pre-sale. So I was like, well... Let me look into it. What is that? Maybe I'll join. Um, and I was really surprised on um, what they do. They basically, um, let me look, they recognize, preserve, and revitalize the architectural and cultural treasures that make LA a special place. Um, and that's something actually, when I read it, it resonated with me because that's something I actually really care about. I'm, I'm really big on historic buildings and preserving things. Um, and LA and Hollywood especially is something that has always been dear to my heart. So I was like, yeah, absolutely, let's join. <laughs> so I donate to them um, monthly. Um, and then it was just getting that thank you letter and um, they kind of give you the little heads up that they are going to send you your tax write off. Um, shortly after, but um, it was asking me if I wanted to renew uh, for this year, and it just had me, you know, I just sat down and I was thinking about, um, well, yeah, I want to renew, but also maybe take it to the next level, um, and then I was just kind of sitting down, okay, well, I actually have three organizations or charities that I donate to very frequently, um, and so... It was kind of, I was just taking a moment of, again, sitting in my gratitude, um, being so thankful that I'm able to give um, and give things that really matter to me and mean something to me. Um, again, uh, this was really, really big. Um, the next one that I do is the probably the one that's really dear to my heart, which is Make-A-Wish. Um, I donate money a percentage of my money every single week with my health and wellness company. They just take it out of my check every week. Um, and also I had set up, so it's taken out monthly out of my bank too. So I'm paying double time or five times, I guess, a week or a week, a month. Um, of money just goes to make a wish. Cause that's something that's so important to me. Um, I get the experience every August of seeing a child come on stage and share their wish, and um, we always, my company is always um, granted a wish um, right then, then and there on that stage. And um, getting to hear these stories and the family stories and what's going on um, it's really lights your butt on fire to help make an impact on some child's life and what it would mean to the family as well. So it's something that's very important to me. Um, I send, like I said, I do what, five times a month I send money, um, but it's something that to me, it's a priority. Giving is, is a priority to me. Um, my other one is I do donate to a performing arts foundation that helps underprivileged kids be able to take dance classes for free. Um, and that's huge to me because um, that one is definitely that might be the nearest dearest one to my heart because uh dance saved me performing um saved my life saved my life um especially in high school i was going through uh 
basically PTSD with um, sexual assault and molestation as a child and dance was something that kept me alive 100%. Um, and so to me, it's very important to be able to help give that, you know, give a free class and um, all of those different things help provide, you know, shoes, dance shoes, and, and so much more. It's very, very, very important to me. Um, and so I was just thinking, you know, these are my three charities and kind of just, you know, my, my goals and plans for giving this year. Um, I don't know if I wanted to take on another, another, uh, charity or organization. Um, but I don't know. I was just mapping things out and it was just funny that to, to receive the thank you letter um, right after my gratitude uh, video and it's just something that is amazing um, again giving is such a huge top priority for me I just it makes me feel so great knowing that I can help make an impact in different ways um, and in ways that things that make me happy and have brought me joy and uh, to then again give back and it's just ah I love it. I love it. Uh, so I'm curious, what kind of things do you guys do? Do you do you uh, volunteer anywhere that means something special to you? What kind of charities do you donate to? I would love to hear more back um, about what means the most to you. Like, um, I don't know. Let me hear your stories. As you can see, I have three different ones, all different and mean something very different to me. Uh, so I'm curious on what you have and what it means to you and maybe you never know I might Take up in one of your organizations. That would be amazing. So if you like this video Like it feel free to subscribe and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye